Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Mel from City Skin Clinic. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about uh, Obagi Uderm. This is a professional uh, prescription skincare system and it's specifically designed to target aging, so severe um, and moderate signs of aging, as well as hyperpigmentation and melasma. Um, this is a system that you can only get by prescription from a doctor, um, and it's something that we uh, have incorporated into our virtual skin clinic. Um, today's video, I'm going to speak to you about uh, just the kind of quickly go through what causes aging and why this system works targeted and how we can incorporate this into your skincare plan. What causes skin aging? So by skin aging, we mean the obvious things that we see, which is loss of skin elasticity, uh, fine lines and wrinkles, as well as loss of volume of the, uh, in the face. Um, skin might also have signs of sun damage, pigmentation, um, there might be sourness or uneven skin tone. Um, so all of those things contribute to aging skin. Um, our cells, as you know, will age naturally anyway with time. Um, and with skin, what that means is that uh, the skin cells produce less collagen, much less elastin. So skin loses its uh, plumpness, its firmness, its elasticity, uh, because the collagen and elastin are kind of hold up the skin and they give it a lot of its physical characteristics. Um, at the same time, skin, uh, the layers of the skin become thinner, so that may lead to crepey looking skin, very th uh, thin skin, um, and again, that's uh, kind of a, a product of aging. Um, there's also a, usually a reduction in the blood supply to the skin, um, and blood supply is really important in terms of the uh, kind of moving immune cells. It's important uh, for nu delivering nutrients and oxygen as well as taking away waste. Um, so with a reduced blood supply, you also get a reduction in healthy regeneration, which contributes to that overall effect. Um, there are things that exacerbate skin aging and make it worse, and the biggest one in all uh, types of skin, it's sun, um, and specifically sun damage. So the uh, UV rays from the sun uh, will uh, accelerate skin aging, and they'll cause damage to the skin, um, and that kind of makes uh, the appearance of lines and wrinkles as well as uh, pigmentation spots, so sunspots uh, are what they're called, and even worse, potentially this damage can lead to skin cancer. So before you consider any treatments for skin aging, the biggest thing to do is protect your skin from sun damage. And the earlier you start, the better, but it's never too late. So wearing SPF 40 or more every single day, even when it's cloudy, will go a really long way towards protecting your skin and slowing down skin aging and making it less bad. And there's absolutely no point in kind of trying anything more without doing that basic because you really need to, to halt the uh, aging. And then of course there are things, um, you know, you can't stop aging itself, but there are things you can do to slow down or reduce its effect on things like your skin. Obviously having a healthier and balanced diet, um, exercise, drinking lots of water, these are things that we know help. Um, but the biggest one, as I mentioned, is actually wearing SPF. So, um, so the, the signs, as I mentioned, of skin aging, fine lines, wrinkles, um, pigmentation, uneven skin tone, these are things that the Obagi New Derm Kit, in moderate to severe cases of skin aging, it's designed to target this. It's also designed to target uh, moderate to severe cases of hyperpigmentation. And I have, in a previous video, explained in some detail, and I'll leave a link to that video below, what hyperpigmentation is. So aging and sun damage are one cause of it, but there are other causes like acne, so post-inflammatory processes, um, and obviously sun damage can also cause, uh, is a big cause of melasma and that kind of hyperpigmentation. So this kit is great for these purposes as well. 
Um, the Obagi New Derm system, there are two types of systems and which one we prescribe depends on you and your skin. So there is a hydroquinone based one and an arbutin based one. The, uh, both of them are ingredients that um, help kind of uh, regulate melanocyte activity um, and so s sort of reduce um, hyperpigmentation and even out the skin tone so that it normalizes with the rest of your skin. Um, so that's one, the, the main thing that these two products treat. Most people are most likely that, uh, to go on hydroquinone um, unless they have any contraindications, so uh, it's not appropriate for them, um, uh, or they have very sensitive skin, or a medical reason or an allergy that they can't use, then we would prescribe the Arbutin. And this is something we speak with our patients and discuss it because it's important to understand um, the uh, limitations and um, a bit of the capabilities of each treatment. Um, the Arbutin base kits take a little bit longer to work. So if hyperpigmentation is the main problem and there is no medical contraindication, there is no allergy, we would tend to um, uh, in, you know, uh, discuss with patients about perhaps a hydroquinone uh, base kit. Um, but again, they both uh, work on that side of things, which is the hyperpigmentation, and that's usually evident in skin uh, aging as well as in uh, sun damage and the other causes of hyperpigmentation that I mentioned. Then um, a part of the kit also contains a, a exfoliant, um, and uh, in terms of exfoliation, that's really important to resurface the skin, to remove the old dead layers, and so that you can get a much smoother surface to the skin and help uh, eventually achieve that glow for the skin. And so uh, both kits have Exvoderm, which is a combination of alpha hydroxy acids, and they help regenerate the skin um, by resurfacing it. There's also um, cleansers and toners which soften the skin itself and help kind of improve um, the penetration of the products and then um, a moisturizer that again helps and nourish and stimulate the skin cells to turn over more. Um, both these cells, we generally um, will prescribe them with tretinoin in many cases. So tretinoin is a retinoid um, and tretinoin will also uh, help with the um, reducing hyperpigmentation. It also helps uh, resurface skins. Uh, skin cells um, and on top of that it helps improve vascularization. Um, in times when tretinoin is maybe not um, ideal for a patient there are some um, times when we you know uh, either the, the patient has very sensitive skin or it's uh, they're on a certain treatment then perhaps retinol which takes much longer and it is less um, effective in terms of over the same period of time but we may encourage retinol use instead to get some of those effects. So again, this is a discussion that we have and it's part of the treatment plan. Um, the Obagi New Derm kit itself, it's composed of seven products. So a moisturizer, a cleanser, uh, sorry, a cleanser, a toner. Then we have the Exfoderm, which is an exfoliant. Um, we have the um, uh, either hydroquinone or arbutin uh, based uh, products. There's two of them that use day and the night, depending on the plan that uh, we put you on. Um, there's also the moisturizer um, and then an SPF as well um, that really helps to protect this. And this is the most important thing. If you, we always discuss with patients, if you're not going to use SPF, then these uh, systems are not worth it because what you're doing is putting all that effort only to then go out in the sun and have it reversed. So it's really an important uh, component. Um, so the kit itself, it's great, but it does require commitment. You uh, typically will start to see some um, improvement after the first six weeks, which is the time it takes for the skin to uh, regenerate and turn over. Um, and then most people will need to continue on the kit for at least uh, 12 to 18 weeks. Some people may need up to 24 weeks. Uh, we don't prescribe it for longer than that. Um, and that's, you know, by, that, by then you, you know, 
we're usually dealing with really intense uh, extreme cases of uh, skin aging or hyperpigmentation and again how long you may need is something that we discuss um, with our patients um, before they start the treatment. Um, for this and all of our Obagi products we uh, offer follow-up at um, set intervals just to see how people are getting on. We advise how um, whether you can increase the frequency of certain products or reduce it depending on how your skin is reacting to it. So it's a living uh, process um, and it's, it's, uh, it's very fuss free but there are little points of intervention just to really make sure that what you're using is uh, entirely optimized for your lifestyle and also for your skin and the results that you want to get from it. Um, after the uh, you finish the Abajin Uderm system, we then uh, tend to uh, give advice. So you can definitely go back to using over-the-counter products um, and we have a range of different products that we can recommend um, that we're big fans of. So one of these might be, um, you know, the Ordinary Skin products or John Kenneth. So there's just so many different uh, fun brands that we love that we also think are quite effective. Um, and again, uh, we aim to have this um, as something that is manageable for the patient. So some people might say, I was happy to use seven products but to get what I want, but I'm really not looking for a longer skincare routine. So we drop that to two or three necessary products a day. Um, and again, it's up to people where they get these from. We just give general adv advice as what's available. Um, and that's the fun thing about skincare, there's so much choice now. It's just being directed as to what's going to work for you. Um, and that's all sort of part of our uh, treatment journey. Um, so um, that being said, in terms of takeaway, this is a great system if you are looking at treating um, moderate to severe signs of skin aging or if you're looking to target moderate to severe hyperpigmentation or a combination of these um, it's a fantastic system that most people will need a 12 to 18 week treatment course some people may need a little bit longer but no more than 24 weeks um, it's uh, a bit in, involved but you're in charge of this um, and we alter the the use of the products according to what your skin needs um, and it's, it's a really nice system and it works um, these are great kind of ingredients with lots of clinical trials behind them um, and in terms of uh, where it sits with our treatments we see this as part of a whole um, a lot of our patients may opt for this but then um, they also will choose to have Botox or fillers every, you know, according to their timeline. So it doesn't preclude you from doing this, but it, it's really important to kind of optimize your skin. Um, and in cases where this kit is needed, it gives a great boost um, and it massively enhances the results of Botox and fillers um, or Profilo um, or any of the other treatments. It works quite nicely uh, in that group. Um, and then once you have the results, they're there for you to take care of them. You don't have to repeat this afterwards, which is great as long as you maintain and you take care of your skin. Um, anyway, so I hope uh, that uh, helps give you a little bit of an overview with Obagi Newderm and why I'm such a big fan of it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll answer it. Um, I've also left some uh, links to our website, which give you a bit more information about our virtual clinic and Obagi Newderm, as well as skin aging and hyperpigmentation. And uh, don't forget before you go to hit the uh, like button and subscribe to our page and hit the notification bell. Um, and until our next video, see you.